watching KWQC TV6, Davenport, the station that cares for you. Live from the Quad Cities' number one station for news, this is KWQC TV6 News Today. Residents were forced from their homes overnight because of rising flood waters. This after torrential downpours once again hit the Quad City area and more unneeded rain is on the way. Good morning, I say that advisedly. Mm -hmm. I'm Charles King and this is Wednesday, June the 30th, 61 degrees and Teresa Bryant is here. What a night for weather, just what we didn't need. Uh, exactly, I mean, it, folks were kept up j practically all night by oh, the yeah. uh, strong thunderstorms. We've got a bigger audience area. than usual because I'm sure there are people still sitting around bleary-eyed wondering what Folks wanna what know what's happened. Well, in the past 24 hours, we've seen a little over an inch of rainfall, and that's just out of that one mm. storm that blew through our area. That's a lot of rain. Uh, some really active weather, and some of you may have heard sirens overnight and uh, unconfirmed report of a tornado in our area. So uh, some really active weather. Right now, though, conditions are calm for the time being. We have a temperature of 59 degrees in Davenport, 60 in Rock Island and East Moline, 61 degrees in Bettendorf and Moline. Our forecast for today, we'll see mostly cloudy skies, look for partly sunny conditions by noon, and a chance for thunderstorms redeveloping later on this afternoon. So another round of rain in our forecast, highs should reach 85 degrees. We are just on that storm track and it's not and Absolutely. Well, we, we've got a complex frontal system just locked in over the central plains. It's not going to move as long as it stays there, drawing that moisture up from the Gulf. We'll continue to see that water. Here we are. And I should mention, too, also that the employees at Montgomery Elevator, they've got a lot of problems mm. over there. The employees are asked to dress casually today. Don't wear your good clothes. Mm. I don't think that's a good sign. No. But uh, that's what they're telling them. So Teresa will be back. She's got a lot more to say about the weather, and so do we all, in fact. Let's take a look at the morning news. We told you at the top of the newscast, the, form, uh, the storm last night forced National Guardsmen to evacuate residents of the Garden Edition in Davenport. Now, the levee held, but the rain just came down too fast for the sewer system or the pumps to handle it. AWQC-TV's Lou Ann Walters was there. Precautionary evacuation. The storm hit the Garden Edition especially hard, but National Guardsmen were quick to respond. 